Good, let's begin. And do not attempt to deceive me. First question, are you the best in your field? No. Nope, he's lying. Now, why would you lie when the truth plays in your favor? Do you think this is some kind of joke, Initiate? If so, trust me, you are sorely mistaken. Amp up the voltage. Yes, Madam Chairwoman. Now, let's try something else. Are you a follower of our late founder, Janus? Yes. He's not telling the truth. Look, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, Initiate, but I'm warning you. Do not test me again. Increase the voltage. Yes, ma'am. Now, do you have an ulterior motive for being here? No. False. Enough. Don't say I didn't warn you, Initiate. You brought this on yourself. Crank it. All the way up. Madam Chairwoman. Zoe, are you sure that's wise? I don't even know how far this thing goes. Could be dangerous. Do it. Now. Moment of truth, Initiate. Are you pretending to be someone you're not? No. Nope. He's lying. One target down. Nice work, 47. Looks like an actor. Next up, Sophia Washington. A remote trigger. Must be a kill switch. Hmm. I bet this would make the constant come quietly. But first things first, 47. Focus on the target. Probably just have I, uh, to press that. I saw some <laughs> suspicious activity over there. A guy taking pictures wearing a, a journalist hat. Yeah, better, better take it out. No can do, sir. We lost money trying to bribe them to staff and help me search for tokens. Action's gotta have consequences. I gotta remember. Ask Clement. Okay. Can you go and see what's going on? Okie dokie.
nice evening. I suppose. No robe, no mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer, Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Kronstadt Industries. The name rings a bell. Here, I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design, which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. See those blueprints again, please. Interesting. All right, Mr. Sinclair. I'm listening. Don't. In fact, forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are, and no, it can't. I am sorry you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. Power without responsibility. Nothing humble about that. Hmm. All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. I believe you know Mr. Sinclair. We've met. What of it? <sighs> I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. Now. You made a big mistake, Sinclair. This won't be going away. my mentor's wishes because I saw something in you. And this is how you repay me? You think because the partners noticed you that you have their trust, their confidence. I have served them for decades, and you don't even know their names. And yet, you're the one with a poison chip in your neck, and I'm the one holding the trigger. You? They gave it to you. Ouch. That's gotta sting. 
I mean, the constant is like the voice of God, right? Only he speaks for the partners. Surely they wouldn't dream of undermining his authority. Only the partners are old school, aren't they? They recognize class, pedigree, birds of a feather, and all that. And you? You reek of middle class. You carry the stink of public transportation. And while you have spent decades climbing the corporate ladder, me and Zoe, we've got ourselves a private elevator and it goes straight to the top. Don't fool yourself, Sophia. They may use you to punish me, but you're a tool, nothing more. And this pathetic ruse only shows me how much you have yet to learn. I've said my piece. We're done here, boss. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. The Washingtons are dead. Welcome I back, have sir. the kill Please switch. The what did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Barnwood's assassin. Move. <clears throat> Your business with the Master has concluded, Mr. Sinclair. I hope you Partners enjoyed Partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. For what it's worth, Janus always found Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the... I'll be at the harbor.
I bought. One of those Soviet survival bunkers.